Monday Night Football is here. The New York Giants travel to Tampa to take on Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Currently, Buccaneers sitting as 10.5 point favorites. Over under is 50 points. I'm a favorite player prop and spread bit coming your guys' way. And plus, we're throwing in a same game parlay for all those people interested. So subscribe to the channel if you guys are enjoying the videos. We're less than 500 subscribers away from 14,000. Can we get there by Thanksgiving? Who knows? But I appreciate your guys' love and support. Click that like button. Comment your best bet for this Monday Night Showdown. Now, we're going to take a second before we hop into the player prop spread pick and same game parlay. This is what you can expect because this week's a little bit different as people in the United States, Thanksgiving, there's a bunch of different schedules for games. So every single daily video, NBA daily best bets, nothing will change with those. You'll see those every single morning, except for Thursday, there is no game on, no NBA games on Thursday, nothing abnormal there. Now for, for NFL purposes, the usual Wednesday podcast moved up a day. It will be posted on Tuesday morning and you will be able to see my best bets for Thanksgiving day games. That'll be live Wednesday morning as well. So make sure you check out that full week, 12 best bets in player props and parlays will probably be live on Saturday, so you can check out those videos then. Logan's college football video will be live sometime during the week. I'm not sure exactly the day for that one. It'll be a little bit of weird, but all the content will still be there, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out. Click that bell too. I don't know if a lot of people have the bells turned on for us, but we appreciate you that you do. Let's hop into this game. I'm going to start with my player prop. I'm going with Tom Brady. We're going to take his over. Two and a half passing touchdowns plus 120. Now, it is a different. Barstool has that like minus 105, but it's plus 120 on DraftKings. And a sharper books have this at like minus 108. So I think we're getting great value here if you can get it in the plus range. Now, Tom Brady and the Bucks. Truthfully, they're coming off a two-game losing streak. They have not looked good the past two weeks. And both of them have been on the road. Been against the Saints and against the Washington football team last week and getting upset. Now, they're back at home today in Tampa, and that's where I think that things will get going this week. Now, that you look at Tom Brady and three-plus touchdowns. It's, it might be a lot. There aren't a lot of guys that not only have three, a two-and-a-half touchdown prop, but not only that, it's more even or even a little bit plus value. A lot of guys are at one-and-a-half, but Tom Brady is good enough to have two-and-a-half, and he's cashed the over in five of nine games so far this season. But since it's at home, he's cashing all four home games. He's been absolutely ridiculous at home, and I think he's going to continue doing that. Now, not only has he hit three plus touchdowns, he's had a four plus touchdowns in every single game at home. So he's not even just crushing it. He's just absolutely destroying this line, but they should finally get Rob Gronkowski back. He is questionable, but I do believe he is expected to play. Chris Godwin, Mike Evans will be out there. Antonio Brown will not be so you don't love that, but we still will have Evan, or Leonard Fournette out there. Should still have plenty of weapons, more than he's been used to in the previous seasons in his career. The Bucks are currently averaging the second most passing attempts per game, 42.7 per game. They'll continue to air it out. And you look at QBs that have faced the Giants that are, you know, pretty good because they faced the Sam Darnolds, the Jameis Winstons of the world, guys that aren't necessarily passing it. But Matthew Stafford threw for four touchdowns against them. And then Dak Prescott threw for three touchdowns today now, or against them as well. Dak Prescott not have, did not have a good game today. If you have been in fantasy football. Yeah, you're probably down bad. Unless you have Jonathan Taylor. Talk about a game. Five touchdowns today. What, what a ridiculous effort. But several other QBs like Teddy Bridgewater, Taylor Heineke, both ended with two touchdowns. I think Brady at home. They'll get it going. They'll get the passing game going, the running game going. He's going to throw for three touchdowns tonight. Lock it in. Plus 120 value. You'll love to see that. Now, moving on to my spread pick. Rocking with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, minus 10 and a half, minus 110 on DraftKings. Now, I can see a lot of pe people picking the Giants here, and but I'm going to ride with the home team. Now, I can see, oh, you can look at all the stats that will keep getting posted. Like Tom Brady's like 0-11 against the spread in his last 11 primetime games. Or, you know, you look at them, they've lost, they haven't been covering them. They've obviously lost two in a row, blah, blah, blah. I understand, but I'm going to go with the sharper play, which I think is taking the Bucks at home. Now, the Buccaneers... They play so much better at home, and it's not even close. Now, they're currently averaging 40.5 points per game at home, and they're only giving up 18.5 points per game. They've been absolutely blowing out teams, and granted, the competition isn't necessarily the best teams in the world, but they're beating who, and I'm not saying the Giants are the best team in the world either. Now, the Bear, they beat the Bears by 35, Dolphins by 38, Falcons by 23, and on opening night, they beat, obviously, the Cowboys by two points. So they basically beat everyone that they faced at home this season. And that not that, and I'm not saying all those teams, the Bears, Dolphins, Falcons, are the best teams in the NFL, but still, you're looking at the Giants, they're sitting at three and six, and two of those losses came against the NFC elite teams, who I would consider the Cowboys, although after today, I don't know about that, and the Rams. Now, they lost by 24 to the Cowboys and 27 to the Rams. I think the Buccaneers are still in that elite group of teams. Really, the only elite team that they've really covered against was the Chiefs, and the Chiefs really hadn't gotten into gear against them. Chiefs finally starting to figure it out. Now, the Bucks defense, I can understand what you're saying. Bucks defense has not been good all year, and I, I get it. I get it. They haven't been good, but they're getting back some guys, getting back some key starters on defense, and like I said, they're playing better at home, only allowing 18 points per game, and they should be getting some of those guys back today. Now, they have had to... Now they had a week to really soak in that embarrassment against that Washington football team, especially that defense, because they got ran all over. They gave up, what, 
10, 12, 13 minute drive for the Washington football team. They couldn't get Brady the ball back and they were only down by three, four points in that game. They could easily won that. Today, that defense will show up. This team has Super Bowl aspirations. They're prideful. And I bet you they get it done at home. Now, Brady and the offense will do their thing on the other side, but I'm locking with the Buccaneers, minus 10 and a half on the spread side. Now, let's move on to a same game parlay. We got a, we got a conservative one. We haven't done a lot of these this year, but the main one we cashed all year was the first game of the season, Cowboys Bucks. And we're coming back to the Buccaneers and we're going with a plus 202, three legs. Chris Godwin, 60 plus receiving yards and a touchdown and Leonard Fournette, 40 plus rushing yards. Now, feel free to add whatever lines you want. Like you can add, I just don't like putting a lot of, personally, personal preference, I don't like putting a lot of spreads or money lines into a same game parlay, unless maybe you're trying to go for something outlandish and you're putting like minus 20 and a half or something crazy like that, then I guess I could understand it. But let's talk about these legs. First one, Godwin, 60 plus receiving yards. He's had that in six of nine games so far this season. And he's had, and at home, he's at 105, 62, 70, and 111 clearing in all four home games. He's also had a touchdown. We're moving on to the touchdown portion. He's had a touchdown in three of four home games so far this season. So he's been pretty good, pretty reliable. And he's one of those guys that goes on streaks where he doesn't have a touchdown and then he just rattles off a couple in a row, a couple games in a row. I think we could be getting into that stretch. Now, Antonio Brown still out for this game. Now, Rob Gronkowski will return. So maybe that alleviates a little bit of pressure off of him to perform as well. But still, you got no Antonio Brown. The targets aren't going to go to a lot of people. It's going to be Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. And then you might get some of the Rob Gronkowski and the other guys like Scotty Miller, Ty Johnson, all of those guys, but still no Antonio Brown. Chris Godwin sees a little bit more looks. And as, I, as you already know, I'm betting on Tom Brady to get three touchdowns tonight. I mean, one of them's probably going to go to Chris Godwin, at least you would expect, unless Rob Gronkowski returns with a vengeance with three touchdowns. But last leg of this parlay, Leonard Fournette, 40 plus rushing yards. Now, due to game script, the Bucks over the past two weeks kind of abandoned the run. Now, they, versed a, they faced a good defense in the Saints a couple weeks back. And of course, that's one of the best rushing defenses in the NFL, although they didn't look like it today against the Eagles, but still, statistically one of the best in the NFL. Now, last week, he did hit it against Washington football team, and he has hit this line in five of six games so far this season. He's the clear workhorse back. Ronald Jones doesn't scare me. Gio Bernard doesn't scare me, taking touches away from him. And the Bucks, they played in this. The Bucks and Giants played last year, and the Giants did lose by two points. It was in the Meadowlands or in MetLife Stadium. So that's why I'm riding with the Bucks here. They're much better team on the road. And you saw Leonard Fournette. He cashed this last last matchup, 55 rushing yards on the road. I know this Bucks team, although they want to throw it a bunch, they have Tom Brady, they have all these weapons. They don't. They know they can't win just by throwing the ball, being unbalanced. You look at the Chiefs teams that are starting to. The Chiefs people have figured them out because they just would throw it all the time. Now you see them running it. They got to be more balanced, and that will start with Leonard Fournette and 40 plus rushing yards. Not asking for a lot. I believe his regular rushing yard total is like 62 and a half, something along those lines, which has probably a good chance of hitting that as well. But that's those are gonna be my three legs plus 202 value. I can live with that. That's pretty decent value. Don't put a full unit on it, but sprinkle, put whatever other legs you like in there. Let me know your best bet down below. I'm curious what you guys are playing. But this is gonna be a good one. Monday night showdown. We've got a lot of things to be excited for this week, and thankful for you guys because you guys are the absolute best. If you aren't celebrating Thanksgiving. Just Google it because you might not know what it is. We'll have some fun themes throughout the videos over the next week. We appreciate you guys. This has been Austin. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.